my favorite thing is not the guys in the green room, the lottery picks. They know they're going to get their name called. My favorite is when the people are at home, the players are at home, and they're having like a little draft party, and they don't know if they're getting drafted or not. They get all their family and friends on the couch, and everyone's sitting there like hoping their name gets called. And then like you see, like that, those are the best ones. This episode is brought to you by Michelob Ultra. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. This episode is brought to you by Michelob Ultra. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong, but it's only worth it if you enjoy it. Michelob Ultra is consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, consistently light. It's the perfect beer for watching what unfolds during the upcoming NBA draft as teams try to build and prepare for the future. Austin, what was the draft like for you? Do you remember that night? Was it the best night of your life? Oh, man. It was definitely an emotional night. I don't know about the best night of my life, but um, I felt in the moment, you know, when you've had a dream your whole entire life that you've worked at and like put yourself in a position to, you know, do what you want to do to get called and have your family there, your parents there, you know, everyone's emotional. You know, my dad was emotional. It was one of the few times I think I see my mom and my dad cry at the same time. Um, but like happy tears, you know, it's done better than happy tears. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. You know, that, that's the best part of the draft is seeing these young men like walk up on stage and like shake the commissioner's hand and like realize their 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 life's about to change. They pictured it, and I'm sure you did a million, times, million times over and over. And, yeah. and when it happens, you just do it. You know what I mean? You're up there, like you're walking to the stage and you're like in front of everybody. It's a it's a really cool moment. My favorite thing is not the guys in the green room, the lottery picks. They know they're gonna get their name called. My favorite is when the people are at home, the players are at home and they're having like a little draft party and they don't know if they're getting drafted or not. They get all their family and friends on the couch and everyone's sitting there like hoping their name gets called. And then like you see like that, those are the best ones. Right. Um, so it's it's always uh, refreshing to to see like young guys have their dreams called, man. Yeah. For sure. And the draft, I always tell you, is my favorite night of the year. Yeah, you love it. You it, love is that, it. Is that what is it? it? Does that make me a basketball nerd? It's it, the best night of the year. It, I love it. I. I That's dedicate a whole lot. Nope. So insane. I make it's no just... plans. You sit down and it's just a bunch of basketball just thrown your way for like three or four hours. So this Thursday, I think you and me, let's set a date, get on that couch, a couple of Michelob Ultras, and really just dive into this. I'm excited. I want to see what the Hornets do with their pick. Yeah, I mean, the draft is always uh, amongst the, you know, the obvious of seeing these guys' dreams come true. I think the other interesting you know, aspect of this is seeing what trades are going to be made. You know, Some happened out of nowhere. Remember, Drew Holiday went for Nerlens Noel on draft night. Yeah, from the Sixers to the Pelicans. That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Stunt, I'm excited for something. No, I remember like that. that. I remember. That. I stunted my growth. I, trust me, I remember better than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going into my second year into the NBA, and they brought Tyree Evans and Drew Holiday in. It was it was an amazing decision by uh, Dell Demps and uh, Monty Williams. Uh, that the the draft is one of those things that you watch, and you know you have to take a seat back and really prepare for anything to be possible. I mean, if you're on a, especially on a losing team, you just don't know what's going to happen. Um, which I was at the time, you know, which is, a, listen, as many as good teams there are, there's, there's bad teams. And a draft night is a big night for them. For sure. You know I mean? You always see like the Warriors, like those teams, like draft night, you don't even hear about them. You don't even know what happened. Well, think about what the Warriors did in 2009. They drafted Steph with the seventh pick, just completely changed their franchise in every which way for the next, you know, over a decade. So draft night is where dynasties could be built. No, 100%. Also drafted Clay, Draymond. You never know the possibility of a player. Who who, who this year is no one's talking about who's going to absolutely crush it. You never know. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. Situation. Kawhi Leonard was the 15th pick. You don't know. Draymond Green, second round. You, yeah. you don't know. Listen, last night, or, or past couple nights, we've been, everyone's been talking about Nikola. He's drafted as a Taco Bell commercial. You know right. what I mean? Like, you don't know. And that mystique and mystery, I think, turns on, especially a lot of real basketball fans like yourself, to where you watch the draft in such awe because you're seeing these guys get excited, their name's called, the family's excited. You're also seeing trades. You're seeing pick swaps. You're seeing this guy go here, this guy go here, especially right now in the NBA and how coaches are being moved around. I would expect this draft to be a lot of movement with players. It just seems like the NBA is getting more and more like, you go here, you go here, you will swap. You know, it's just becoming like a wild, wild west, in my opinion, yeah. um, or anybody's opinion. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of teams with a lot of picks. You know, OKC, a couple other teams. You know, what's Boston do? What's this team do? What you know, we've already heard the rumors of Zion and what they might do with you know to get Scoot. I mean, this is going to be a, a 
a really interesting draft. And, you know, it's a little top heavy. You know, there's a lot of talent at the top. And then there's kind of a little bit of the unknown towards the back, which, uh, which is also interesting for people to see because there's always a surprise or two. So uh, excited for it, man. It's, it's going to be fun. All right. See you next Thursday. It's a date. Let's do it. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bud. Michelob Bultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment. Only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. Head to MichelobBultra.com. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Must be 21 years of age. Enjoy responsibly.